just here in, in my, my garage. garage. <laughs> this video is sort of a DIY video. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking my Black Series Kylo Ren lightsaber and we're gonna be applying silicone over the top of it to make a fiery effect mod that you see in the film. With that silicone applied, we're gonna be able to create wave-like structures that will give it a fire effect when it's lit up because for now, it's just solid. I want it to be fiery. Now, yes, Halloween has passed, so. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Hopefully I don't fuck it up, but I do have a tendency to fuck up these kind of things. So here's what you'll need, a cock gun. Look at this shit, it's fucking dope. Brah, brah, brah. Followed by clear silicone, uh, the GE clear all-purpose 100% silicone window door attic trim flashing weatherproof sunproof freeze. So you'll need that exact one word for word. And I just bought some uh, Walmart paint brushes. This is what we'll use to spread out the silicone as we apply it. Papa John's also serves as a very important piece to making the Kylo Ren Saber mod. Due to its supernatural ability to boost energy. Otherwise, it's an optional for you. For me, it was a necessity. Review of Papa John 10 10. I am an idiot sandwich. No, I don't ever use caulking guns despite the rumors. So I didn't realize for a solid 20 minutes I needed to cut the tip and break off a foil seal at the top. So please don't bully me in the comments section. Dad. Dad. Now what brush do we want to use? Shit. Now we are in business. I applied one squeeze of silicone at a time, if that's even a quantifiable amount, and worked with that. It sticks pretty well to the saber. It's plastic, so you don't have to worry about it really falling off. Uh, anyways, I worked that silicone in a spreading motion, at first to apply it equally around the saber, not too thin, not too thick. After it was distributed, I then used more violent motions of swirling to provide a rough base texture and a swooping motion that was used to add uh, verticality to the silicone, which gives it its spikes and gives it that staticky, fiery effect. Paintbrush is probably the best tool for the application of this. I've seen other people in videos use gloves and other tools to spread the silicone, but honestly, I think the brush proved perfect uh, for this sort of task. Don't worry about the silicone getting around, whether it be on your hands, floor, or the metal of the saber. It easily wipes away when wet and peels off easily when it dries too. So don't worry if you, if you think you're permanently messing anything up by getting it around and stuff. Um, so there's not a lot that could go wrong. I had a couple mishaps and it was just the same thing. Just wipe it away. Ain't no thing. Uh, but I would recommend having a good airflow in the area that you're doing this since the silicone has a stench to it that actually burned my nostrils and eyes, which I'm pretty sure have permanently doomed me. Uh, so I pass the knowledge on to you. You can also wear some gloves just so you don't have to deal with any residue on your fingers or nails after the fact. Uh, but if you like that one thing that you do when you put Elmer's glue in your, on your skin and you get off by peeling it away, then hey, be my guest. Spread silicone all over those Um, so don't use gloves if you're into that. <laughs> but no, you, you probably should. Um, just because, I don't know, chemicals are dangerous to the human body or whatever the back says of that silicone tube. Another awesome part to this whole DIY project is that it's a ridiculously cheap thing to do. The si Ooh. The silicone was $4 and the brush was only $3. And if it turns out bad, from what I've heard, you could peel it away. I don't know in practice, I haven't tried peeling the whole blade since that would just undo this whole video, but I think you should be able to peel it away. Um, and the drying process takes about 30 minutes until you could flip it to the other side. 
um, just those 30 minutes is just not the official full drying process till it solidifies but just enough for it to hold together so when you flip it around if you have it on a towel like I do uh, the bottom of it won't droop down and start sticking to the fabric. I had it in a horizontal orientation so it took two passes to do. Um, if you do it in a vertical fashion then you could just do this all in one go. I'm not exactly sure how the silicone applies. I think it's sturdy enough to not droop as you're applying it but I also just found it more natural to work on it. Uh, horizontally another thing that you want to watch out for as well while waiting for it to dry is to also maybe clean that brush at the same time because in that amount of time that's drying <laughs> I left my brush not thinking about the silicone that's on it and it kind of stuck all the bristles together now it didn't really cause a problem when it came to applying the other side if anything it may have helped since I think the second side that I did turned out a bit better than the first um, but just just to be safe and consistent you could go ahead and clean off the brush in that waiting period since i was working on a horizontal uh, i tried working on the tips so like the very top of the saber to create kind of like that final spike but what i found out is that you know it's probably best to have it in a vertical orientation just so it doesn't droop because it's it's not the silicone is not consistent enough for it to hold its stance, I guess, when you uh, build up that top spike. But yeah, all, all in all, this project is really fun. It's just stroking and it, it does take time. It took me, maybe I'm just a slow worker as well. So it took me about mm, 10 minutes of application, uh, but it's super chill. Just happy little strokes, happy little waves, and you got yourself a fiery effect on your lightsaber and then after you're all done with it I would just recommend letting it solidify overnight and you should be set yeah about the top I just kind of gave up on it I don't recommend that you should uh, and that's terrible for a tutorial that I'm making here but I kind of found out that um, you most likely will need multiple layers on the top parts uh, just so you could get a gradual build up to the spike. We're back here in a garage. garage. <laughs> New garage. <laughs> uh, it's so nice and cozy for videos. Anyways, uh, we're done with the lightsaber now, and it's been a couple days. I've let it aerate a little bit to lose that silicone smell that's attached to it. That is freaking intoxicating. Intoxicatingly bad. Let's have a look. It looks pretty good. Whoa! Oh! It turned out amazing. I possibly could have been more aggressive with my swoops to give more verticality to the fire effect, but otherwise the proof of concept is there. One thing you may notice are some stringy ends on some spikes, but you could just simply cut them off with a pair of scissors to add extra, extra polish to it. And uh, the amount of roughness of the silicone can also be an artistic choice. If you want a more subtle rigidness like mine where it's not you know all the way out there but it's enough to make a difference compared to the smooth top of the original tube or you can make it aggressive with bigger swipes or maybe even doing multiple layers of silicone uh, to build up to those spikes I think a f boy in an adidas Stand sweatshirt up. doesn't do it justice so let's change into something a little bit Fun. more appropriate <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy in the Kylo Ren costume. Bang. Put that right there. I feel like I couldn't just have this lightsaber in this costume and it just be regular. I needed that fiery effect and I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I recommend it to anybody. And if you like this costume, up and down, up and down. It's, it's like a cosplayer costume, it's official. Unfortunately, I didn't put it together myself, I bought it. Um, it just, this is what Kylo Ren probably would have done. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more content that's not like this. And... I like Star Wars.